Okay, now we're here with John from AK Sports Cars, and we're going to have a look at their two main cars they got to show here. We've got your well-known AK427 here. Now, this has been reduction quite some time, I believe? Yeah, so we've been building Cobras for oh, well over 30 years now. Um, this is their latest demonstrator. Um, so, you know, we're, we're completely au fait with them. We put the new Corvette engines in. They've got power steering. They've got servo brakes. It's, it's a, just a beautiful modern underpinnings to a classic looking car. Um, but yeah, been doing them for 33 years now. Um, wow. So if I don't know how to do them now, then I never will. <laughs> um, so yeah, went to Le Mans in this last year. Uh, brand new, done 200 miles, and me and my colleague jumped in it. Off we went, a uh, thousand mile round trip. They just don't miss a beat, beautiful. And it looks so tidy under the bonnet there with that Cor Corvette LS3 engine. It does sort of suit <laughs> that engine bait, even it, though they're like two completely different areas. Though, it does. Um, you know, it's perfectly acceptable in the industry for, for the AC Cobra to, to have Corvette engines in. They did originally have a Ford engine in. We do fit Ford engines, but the Corvette LS3 engine is, is a widely used engine. Um, it's a very, very powerful, but straightforward, easy engine. We've been running it for 12 or 13 years now. Uh, 75, 80% of my customers fit it. Okay, um, so that? Okay. It is the most popular engine. Yeah. Uh, and if someone's looking at this and thinking, yeah, maybe I'd like to, to build it, where are you looking at sort of kit prices and, um, and build costs? Home build, you will probably spend early to mid 50s building it okay um obviously factory built are a bit more money factory built by the time you've added a few little bits that you want you're probably eighty thousand. um factory builds you know we do probably five or six a year uh, so they go really well Air core business are is kits home okay, builds yeah. um we do three of these every month uh oh, wow. but yeah corvette engines nice and straightforward um, and probably the most popular engine. And I like the way you touched on the Corvette engine because where we're going to look next, <laughs> the, the, the Chevy engine is probably not the um, the thing to... Unfortunately to not. I would love it to be, but no. Well, you only have to have one engine on the shelf, wouldn't you? Yes. Um, but this is, this is one that seems to be gaining quite a lot of attention here. This is your Just iv 8 GT40. Tell us all about it. Yep, so this is the new um the new model that we're doing um we actually bought out a company called southern gt who, who have got a great reputation with the gt40 uh mick lovely chap uh retired so we bought the the assets um it goes alongside the cobra it's a natural progression from a cobra to a 40 um same sort of era and I'm very passionate. I've always loved the love them. The wife's loved them more than me, actually, and has always been bantering me to build one. Um, so yeah, so we built started this project about 16 months ago. We bought the project. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it does look really nice in this sort of period color as well. <sighs> yeah. Again, GT40s. Everybody will go, oh, golf, golf racing colors, and it's a it, that's a lovely color combination, hey. and I love it. I needed to do something slightly different that when I go to car shows, people will go, ah, that's AK's car. So it's still a period colour. We did have it mixed. It's actually not got a name at the minute, um, but a little well, bit different. Well, maybe the viewers could help out. If you've got there an idea, you go. for, idea for a name yes. for the, this colour of paint, pop it in the comments below and maybe John will take it on board. Only decent comments, though. Uh, yeah, and, and <laughs> clean, friendly ones as well. Um, so underneath, space frame chassis? So yeah, space frame chassis, um, all built in-house. Uh, grass fibre bodywork, again, all in-house. Um, engine choices, and this is yeah. the, what you touched on. I was um, going to say, that doesn't look like your average 1960s <laughs> Ford V8, does it? No, no. So one thing we wanted to do with the GT40 is to, to make it actually a really pleasant car to drive. Um, we've done it with the Cobras, putting the LS engines in. It turns it into a, a beautiful, drivable, everyday car. You know, my, my, my 25, six-year-old daughter, she borrowed one of the cars at the weekend to go out with a boyfriend to see their parents jumped in it and went for a drive gt40 is predominantly 
you have always had kind of the more traditional Ford 302, which is an old school engine, a um, bit more of a man's car. So we wanted to try and refine it, I suppose the word is. But of course, because it's a Ford GT40, we had to put a Ford engine in. So this is the new uh, Mustang engine. So it's called the, the Coyote. So it's the latest generation three engine, but it's really complicated. Um, the Corvette engine is just a push rod, single overhead cam, very basic engine. This, unfortunately, is a quad cam, variable valve time in direct injection, port injection. Um, putting throttle bodies conf confuses everything as well. So there's been an awful lot of development work. Building the car has been a, a pleasure. Actually, very straightforward to build. I've really enjoyed doing it. The engine side, I haven't enjoyed quite so much. But we're there. We've, but, we've done it. But presumably, you got, have you got someone that's built a bespoke ECU now <laughs> to run it so it's, it's sort of plug and play as much as Correct. it's going to be yeah yeah yeah, yeah. unfortunately the, you know the ECUs you need two ECUs to run all the all the bits it's got um, so there was a couple of companies that could do it as opposed to you know a dozen companies that could come run a Cobra yeah um, it, it is it's very much that it's very much that thing of um, it's becoming quite niche now to find the people to who can uh, come up with those kind of bits of kit to run these engines in yeah. these scenarios so yeah. yeah so final question quick budget wise i've, I've got um, my, i've got my credit card in my back good pocket lad. home builds <laughs> these you can build when you're at home lower end say lower end budget with a ford 302 and a second hand gearbox Seventy thousand ish okay uh 75 maybe uh factory built there about 110. if you go for this option with the, the modern coyote engine the brand new gearbox etc etc the best you could ever do yeah, yeah. home build about 100 grand uh factory built 150. um but these tend to actually be worth more when they're finished than you put into the job which is quite Which rare is, in a, is quite in a rare. kit and component yeah. car. Yeah. Cobras, you tend to get your money back eventually when you sell it. You know, if you spend 50 grand building one, you'll return that. These actually, you know, if you spend 100 grand building this, you should be able to sell it, retail it for 130 ish. Um, and and you're, you're up and selling and, you know, yeah, you can so, come and buy one. <laughs> yep. Last year we did, uh, we did 12 last year. So one a month which okay. you know, we were initially aiming to do probably one every other month because, you know, we'd still got to get stock, new suppliers and learn it. Yeah. Um, so one a month last year, which was brilliant. Um, this year, you know, it started off exactly the same. Um, hoping to up it to maybe two a month um, as the year progresses. Um, but yeah, full production, all ready to go. Brilliant. Thanks very much, John. That's been really informative. You really are more than it. welcome, buddy. Thank you very much. Take Thank care. You. Thank you.